salsa, it's one of my favorite recipes and it's also different on the plant-based nutrition. It doesn't have an oil base. It doesn't have mayonnaise or anything in, added to it that has an oil in it. But it is great. It has winter squash. It is winter squash salsa. It has tomatoes, onions, and I did use avocado and lime juice and garlic. And then I served it with uh, chips made from tortillas that you can buy in the grocer's freezer section because they don't have oil in it. Winter squash salsa. You have to try it. You have to make it. So let's get started. Vegetables. Winter squash. Onion. Tomato. Spices, garlic, fruit, avocado, lime. We're going to make winter squash salsa. Now you can make it with any winter squash except spaghetti squash but today I'm making it with acorn squash. And you notice I put it in the oven and turned it face down and it made all of this caramelize while it was cooking. It adds a lot of flavor. And then you take out the seeds and they are cooked. And you can, ooh. And you can eat the seeds at a later time. So, I've already put in one part of my squash in there. And so now you just scoop it out. Now go all the way to the skin of the squash. And you want all that you can get. And it's amazing when you don't put anything on it while you're cooking, you just Put it face down so the caramelizing will add all the flavor that you need. So now you have this in this bowl and you need to smash it up. It doesn't need much but it needs some so that those pieces that you took out that were whole pieces are divided up. Doesn't that look great? Now you're going to add a tomato, half a tomato. And you want it in chunks. Oh, not too big of chunks, but you want to have them. So this one, I would cut each one of these in half. You leave all the skin on. Oops. Maybe this one needs to be a third. Third. The thing is, in the when you're making salsa, you want the pieces to show up and to be seen, and you want to be able to eat them that way. So you add the tomato to the squash. That's kind of pretty. And then you take a quarter of a onion that you have quartered, because I always use quarters. And then you slice it this way. Down, following the curve of the onion. And then you slice it kind of thinly, because you want them to be in almost every bite. Because the onion is what makes this taste great. Now I'm using avocados today. So on the plant-based diet, some people don't eat the avocado. But I eat them every once in a while. 
just for some because I love this dish. So I will slice up one avocado. And see, I choose a half of an avocado because I don't want to use too much. There that goes. Now, we want to stir it, but you don't want to be too, oh, not too, uh, so, so you take, be very gentle, because you want to keep all those pieces. And the main thing you're mixing up in here is the squash, getting it on each of those pieces. Because, you know, in the real scheme of things, the thing you're really eating is the squash. Then you put in a teaspoon of garlic and you squeeze in half a lemon, a lime juice. And you have to always worry about the limes because sometimes when you buy limes, they aren't as juicy as they seem. You stir it again. Believe it or not, you have salsa. So. I'm going to serve it by just putting it on this plate. Oh, isn't that pretty? Now, the salsa is ready. Now, if you use the red tomato, it'd be pretty red. So you can use whatever tomato you have. And then you can serve it with the non-fat tortilla chips that are in the stores that are in the frozen food section. So between the two of these, you have a great snack. You have a great meal to take with you to work. And let's eat.